Hello guys, it's Shitgame Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today we have a different video recorded outside because it is quite a really good day, so why not? So today's video is about the, the, the rumor that has been crossing the internet for the last few days, which is the new refresh of the Ryzen 3000 generation. This is only a rumor, of course, so take it with a grain of salt, a, a big, big one. one, but well, it leads us to believe that we're we're not gonna have Zen 3 CPUs in 2020. Or at least if we have those in 2020 Zen 3 CPUs only in the last part of the year, let's say uh, November, December, last quarter of course, of course. So why no Zen 3 CPUs in 2020 and only 2021? Well, in my opinion that must be because of the PlayStation being delayed to 2021 also and since the PlayStation has CPUs with Zen cores as RDNA 2 so maybe AMD is looking to release the RDNA 2 cards and the um, the Ryzen the Ryzen <laughs> 4000 generation so Zen 3 CPUs at the same time to get more profit so people can buy combos of CPU and GPU I don't really know but uh, well this is kind of a refresh now we have a, a refresh of the, the Zen 2 CPUs. Uh, according to this rumor, we have, for example, Ryzen 5 3600 XT, Ryzen 7 3700 XT, and Ryzen 9 3900 XT, 3800 XT. So basically, we have now the non X versions, we have the X versions, which are uh, better binned. Uh, non X versions, for example, you have the Ryzen 5 3600, and the, the Ryzen 5 3600 X is exactly the same CPU but has better binned dies. So basically, you can do higher frequencies with lower voltages, okay? And accordingly to the rumor, it seems that the XT versions are even higher binned versions. So basically, we have the non X the X and the XT. So the XT will have even higher frequencies at even lower latencies. Higher frequencies and lower latencies. Well, I was drunk. Well, it is kind of true because with higher frequencies, the inner latencies are also lower. But the point was higher frequencies with lower voltages. Well, let's continue. And that's it. So exactly the same CPU with better binning. Now let's take in consideration that, for example, going from the Ryzen 1000 generation to the 2000 generation, it was kind of a refresh, but not like this. This is like 100% refresh, while going from the Ryzen, let's say Ryzen 1600 to the 2600, we have little differences. So for example, we go from 14 nanometers fin fat to 12 nanometers fin fat, and we also have a better memory controller, for example, the IMC, the integrated memory controller in the CPU, which in the first generation is in fact natively 2666 megahertz, while the second generation have natively 2933 megahertz. So it is quite a difference in the MC, in the IMC. You have Zen Plus cores instead, instead of Zen cores, which have lower latency and higher single core performance while in this case is only a refresh, so exactly the same CPU with higher frequencies. It seems like AMD is pulling an Intel this time, right? Intel is releasing the new CPUs and they, they know what they are going to release with Zen 3, so they are probably like, okay, we do not need to release these CPUs right now, we may just do a refresh for some some CPUs to to reach, for example, 4.6 gigahertz on all cores, like we've seen in some Ryzen 3 3100 and Ryzen 3 3300 X. Uh, let's let's go for 4.5 gigahertz on all cores, for example, um, um, a tighter a PBO, so we can match the newest Intel CPUs, and we don't need to release Zen 3. So they are pulling an Intel move, and that sucks. But well, at least according to the rumor also, it seems that they are decreasing at least the prices, the current prices on the, um, the current 3000 generation CPUs. So it seems that uh, the Ryzen 5 3600, 3700, the Ryzen 7, Ryzen 7 3800X, 3900X, they are going to have a price cut. So, well, at least it's not like Intel at 100% because Intel releases these CPUs and they maintain the prices of the current CPUs and just increase 
the price of the ones that have better binning. It seems that at least AMD is cutting the prices of the current CPUs and um, using the MSRP price for the XT versions. So the, MS, the, the MSRP price of the X version to the XT version and the X version and the non-X version will have a price cut. Well, it seems that it is that, according to this rumor, of course. So yeah, it sucks that basically we're not having Zen 3, basically. Even if we do, it will be in the, in the end of the year, so we'll have to wait a lot. We have to wait a lot, yes. But well, at least we have some we have some rumors on that. We have some leaks on the new RDNA 2 cards. The um, let's say the RX 5800 XT, whatever they want to call it. But well, at least good news, and we have price cuts on the recent CPU. So at least it is decent. So if AMD tries to pull an Intel once again, we shall cut them by the root because well. We all need competition, but we don't want a monopoly, being it AMD, Intel, or NVIDIA, or any other company. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share the video, because that really helps a lot. And well, leave in the comment section your opinion about this topic, and what you think about these refresh, refreshed CPUs with higher frequencies. Um, just let me know what you think, because it's really important for us all, as a community, to know that. Well, before ending the video, let's just see a bit more of my dog. <laughs> Hex? <laughs> uh, I get Rex. The <laughs> taller. See you in the next video guys. PCI Express 1 versus 2 versus 3 versus 4. That's gonna be a great video.